Hello, my name is Ilya Chernevsky and I work as a web developer at Evolution Company and create front-end of games. Today I want to tell you about my experience of using Canvas element in games and web applications. First of all, to increase performance. Uh, let's look at this element uh, in one of Evolution games. It contains approximately 4,000 DOM elements. Basically, these are SVG elements um, with their own styles, attributes, classes, sizes, positioning, etc. Uh, you may say that 4,000 is not so much, mm, perhaps, but you know what could be better? I think better is to have only one DOM element. Uh, firstly, what is canvas? And its core canvas uh, is a rectangular area where we can dynamically create graphics using JavaScript. Drawing on canvas provides a low level way to display graphics on, in the browser. Uh, DOM operations in the browser are considered qu quite slow. Uh, this is why, for example, uh, React team uh, developed uh, virtual DOM concept to minimize handling DOM elements. Uh, let's look at the advantages and disadvantages of Canvas. Let's start with the uh, advantages. First of all, and I think mo most importantly, it's performance and speed. We have uh, just only one DOM element. Second is memory saving, uh, since there is no need to store information about a large number of DOM elements. And control. Developer can control every pixel in the drawing area. Now let's look at the existing disadvantages of this approach. Uh, one of the most obvious is animations. They are more difficult to implement. Of course, we can't use animation and transition property from CSS. In the case of DOM elements, for example, uh, when they are moved, the browser itself erases the old object and draws the new one in a new place. And uh, in the case of Canvas, developer forced to independently draw each frame uh, using request animation frame function from browser web API. And second con is complexity. In general, DOM elements are easier to manipulate than pixels. And using Canvas API is more difficult. In the case of DOM elements, browser does part of the work for us. And finally, features of working with displays, uh, with um, device pixel ratio, more than one, uh, for example, when we work uh, with smartphones, uh, you have to keep an eye on the dimensions of the canvas, and sometimes uh, this can lead to unexpected artifacts. And in general, you are forced to think more about other features of canvas that may not be immediately obvious. Uh, when people talk about Canvas, uh, they, most, uh, they must most often uh, mean the Canvas API and, then, and the Canvas rendering context to the interface. This is the simplest and low-level way to render in the browser. However, uh, uh, if you want to use the all power of GPU, then you should consider using WebGL. WebGL API is used with the same HTML uh, canvas element, but for rendering it's used a different drawing context, WebGL rendering context, and also use a different API, WebGL API. So with one HTML element canvas, we can use two different APIs, canvas API and WebGL API. Let's compare these two ways. Canvas API can use CPU or GPU rendering. The browser itself decides uh, this according to its internal logic. However, based on its internal alg algorithms, uh, if browser decides to use CPU, in this case, graphics hardware acceleration will not be used because it's physically located uh, on the graphics card. 
However, um, it's not obligatory that using hardware acceleration will necessarily lead to increased performance. Often it will, but not always. WebJ API uses only GPU and also hardware acceleration if the graphics card has it, which is almost thus. Uh, it's, uh, this is almost always uh, fastened because uh, the GPU is optimized for graphics and uh, this release CPU resources to run the rest of the application. Uh, so. It also uh, has to be mentioned that the complexity of using both of these techn uh, technologies uh, is different. While Canvas API is less difficult to use and can be uh, used without external libraries, for example, uh, WebGL is much more difficult to use and has a much higher entrance threshold. It's more often used with third-party libraries, such as Babylon JS, for example, or 3.js. Unlike HTML and SVG elements, the image on canvas is raster. Therefore, for example, when we zoom in canvas element, we will see that image quality has become worse. Also, text uh, written on canvas will be blurry uh, when zoomed in, and to improve quality, we will, we will be forced to re-render. In conclusion, uh, I want to say that Canvas is modern, low-level, high-performance element. Using it in your applications can significantly improve uh, performance. However, it's important to understand that complexity and cost of development will also increase. Uh, it's especially true when uh, your applications has animations. Yeah. Therefore, it's important to evaluate all of these factors and make the right decision. Thank you for your attention.